This is the Debayer um, Access brand blue carbon steel skillet. I've been experimenting with carbon steel recently. I've always been a big fan of cast iron and um, since I since getting the induction uh, cooktop um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about carbon steel on induction. One of the great things about induction is that the heat um, adjusts really quickly like it warms up a pan quickly when you turn it back down it cools down quickly. Um, and you kind of lose some of that with cast iron because the iron cookware itself retains a lot of heat. Um, so I've been trying these cast iron, a couple of cast uh, carbon steel skillets. I started off with a no-name Amazon brand, which I kind of regret buying. Um, just the quality wasn't wasn't great. Um, this debayer is much nicer. Um, I'll show you uh, frying an egg on it in a little bit. You can see I've been using it. It's pretty well seasoned at this point. It did come with this one is a uh, comes with a blued steel coating, um, so it did come with this black color all the way around. It's got these rivets that are flush, which is kind of nice. Uh, you know, you never have any rivets that are standing out. Uh, you know, collecting gunk around the edges. I will say I don't know if it's um, true of all uh, of the Debayer products, or maybe I just got a kind of rough one. But where this handle is attached, um, there's a bit of, it's hard to see in the video, but there's a bit of a gap there right at the end of the handle. It's not sitting perfectly flush with the pan. And um, at that point, it will collect water when I wash it. And that, like there's no way I can get seasoning in there. There's not really any good way to dry that little crevice. Um, so you can see I'm getting some rust there already. It's, I've had this pan for three months or so now. Um, I'm not really sure what to even do about that rust. You can see it goes um, all the way like back into the crevice. Maybe you can't see it, but it goes into that crevice a bit, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but anyway, let's. Um, the thing I love about this is that they really are very nonstick. I hate using Teflon because um, I really don't like uh, using plastic utensils. I just I have this little thin fish spatula and it's just so nice to be able to get that under an egg. And you know the Teflon pans, they're disposable. You know, they like they're gonna last you a couple of years if you're really good to them. Um, my car my my uh cast iron I've had forever. I mean my oldest cast iron pan I've had since I started since I left the house. You know, it's been fifteen years and it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's perfect. Actually it's only gotten better over time. The seasoning's gotten better and better. Um, I will say that I have this pan heating up now just on medium heat. I like to cook my eggs gently. You, know, you see some people really frying eggs hard. I don't really like them to be, I don't like them to be too crispy. Um, you will see that, like I said, this, this pan took uh, a seasoning pretty well. I used, um, I actually seasoned it intentionally with, um, like not just cooking, but I actually sat down and seasoned it. I used, um, I like to use shortening, vegetable shortening. Um, just spread a thin layer on. Um, with carbons, with cast iron, they always tell you to put it in the oven to get it really well seasoned. Um, I was following some other internet instructions and just uh, for for carbon steel, mostly they recommend that you just season it right on the stovetop. So that's what I did. You can see it's, you know, it's got a pretty good coating of uh, blackened grease at this point. Um, you will see, like, here's a Right here is a bit of a light spot. Um, it actually lost some seasoning from when I uh, squeezed some lemon juice onto something at one point. Um, kind of let it sit there for a little bit before I clean the pan. Um, so it's definitely true that you'll lose some seasoning with acid. Um, I've been using this most days to make a, an egg for breakfast. Um, I always use, you hear people say not to use cooking spray because I don't know. I don't know why the, the people don't like the the lecithin the, that's added to it for whatever reason. Um, I, in my experience, cooking spray um, is much better at preventing stuff from sticking than straight oil. So I've been using it, and plus, you know, you can use a lot less oil, so you're not adding a bunch of grease and calories to your food. So, quick spray of cooking spray. This is pretty hot now. Um, I do find that, so induction heats up 
your pans really quickly, but I do find that if you're using a low heat setting, it takes a while for that low heat setting to warm the pan, which I guess makes sense, but you know, you expect things to react quickly and you do still have to wait a bit if you're only doing a you know, heat setting of three or four. So here's my egg, Got a little salt. So you can see the edges are they're just lifting up, there's no problem. Um, this pan, uh, one nice thing about it is compared to the uh, off-brand Amazon one that I bought, um, the bottom is nice and flat. Uh, the 12-inch the skillet that I bought, the cheap one, um, it still does, it's still non-stick. I, th I don't think it took seasoning quite as well as this pan is, um, but it, you, you can cook an egg in it with some cooking spray, no problem. But the thing that drives me nuts about it is that there's kind of a hump in the middle of the pan. So anytime you try to put an egg in it, it always runs out to the edges, which kind of drives me crazy. Um, this pan's nice and flat, and I've, I've cooked on pretty high heat with this, and I haven't had any warping yet. Um, I actually have kind of cooked the seasoning off at one point when I was trying to really put a hard sear on, um, I think on a tuna steak. Uh, no, no oil in the pan, just searing the, the steak dry. But you can see, I mean, I haven't had to mess with it. See, this egg is... You know, just sliding on the pan. Um, eggs are the thing that people buy their non-sticks for. But here I am. With a plain old carbon steel skillet. One little spritz of cooking spray. Um, and it's great. I mean, I, I don't see myself ever needing to use non-stick. I've done omelets in this. I've done, uh, I've even let some cheese, you know, some cheese get on the pan and stick to it. Um, you know, when you're searing, like, proteins, you will get some browned bits, you know, you, the, the juices kind of come out and then they, they cook to the pan, the bottom of the pan. Uh, when that occasionally happens, I usually like to, um, just throw a little water in the pan and, uh, deglaze it just with some water, just boil the water in the bottom of the pan for, like, 20 seconds or so, and then everything just seems to wipe off um, with the sponge. So if you're thinking about buying, uh, thinking about um, re replacing your non-stick, or if you're just buying this induction range, which I reviewed a little bit ago, um, looking for uh, induction compatible cookware, definitely can recommend uh, DeBuyer. Um, this is the Access brand, which I think is actually a, a cheaper model from DeBuyer versus their standard stuff. Um, but it came with this blued steel coating, which I think looks really nice. Um, the shape is great for things like eggs. Uh, certainly the bottom of the pan um, is maybe a bit smaller than your traditional American pan because these sides are kind of slanted. Um, but it's fairly light. It's not as light as your all aluminum nonstick, but you're not using all aluminum on induction then are you? Uh, so, uh, definitely no complaints. I would recommend it. And I think this was on the order of $30 on Amazon at the time I purchased it. Um, I can definitely recommend it. Good luck.